And now next up, we have our Division Chair of Educational Programs at the college, Susan Baxter, and she's going to be talking with the Administrative Assistant in that department, Sharon West, who's also one of our former scholars. So hopefully they'll tell you a little about that. Ladies? Hey, Sharon. Hey. Uh, first and foremost, as one of our newer employees at the college, I want to welcome you officially to your new role as Administrative Assistant for Education Programs at the college. And I know that I could speak on behalf of the entire education division in saying that we are so thankful for the work in, that you do for us and the students in that department. Even though this might be a new role for you as an Administrative Assistant for the division, you're certainly not new to Sampson Community College. Would you give us a little bit of uh, the experience and background of how you got to Sampson and how that took you to where you are now as the uh, as division secretary? Sure. Um, I was a dental hygienist for a lot of years, and I, uh, and I decided to change careers. And <laughs> so um, I chose Sampson Community College to come here, and I, I majored in business administration because I really thought that was a good fit for me. I'm very organized, and I really like to help people. And um, while at school, I was involved in Phi Theta Kappa, and I was also a student ambassador. So I was able to help out with a lot of different student events, and I really enjoyed that. Um, I graduated recently in May, and um, I interviewed for a job at the college. I was very fortunate to be, get, be able to get employment there. I love my job. I love working with my boss, Susan <laughs> Baxter. And I also work with um, criminal justice, so I'll put a little plug in there for Daryl Matthews, too. Um, and that's about it. Well, um, as you mentioned, you do have a lot of uh, diversity to your role with us at the college. You do serve as the secretary for our division, which we, we're a pretty big division. We offer um, early childhood education and school-age education. And then we also have a dual enrollment program with Fayetteville State University that allows students to pursue a four-year degree through Fayetteville State University. But being able to do so many of those courses right there at Sampson Community College getting to pay that Sampson Community College tuition, which is also a really big asset for them, not to mention their time and money and travel is also really a, a nice asset to that program. That program, is, as great as it is, does require us to do some extra paperwork. It sure does. <laughs> and, uh, and help those students along through that process and work very collaboratively with the university. And Sharon, you've just had a huge impact on helping us with that and helping us to grow that program. We're really excited that we've actually had some, some folks graduate from that program now and we're able to help those people get that four-year degree that they might not otherwise be able to get. Um, in addition to all of that, as you mentioned, you're doing criminal justice and, and BLET, which is basic law enforcement training. Yes. So you're really, um, you're really keeping busy. Could you tell us what some of your favorite things about the job have, has been so far? I think my favorite thing really is helping the students. Um, I just really want them to succeed as I did in school. And you know, it really, you can go to school at any age. And we really do have a wide diversity of students from right out of high school to st students as old as in their 60s. And I think that with my life experiences, I think I can really help them and I want to see them succeed. So I think working with the students is probably my favorite. And, and you do a great job with it. And when you welcome the students into um, North Building 201 and you walk it in and see Sharon, she always has a, a smile for our students and makes them feel welcome. And she always helps them. And we're very thankful for that and welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Susan and Sharon. We appreciate you sharing with us um, about the educational programs.